My buddy Aaron started Dominion Fuzz like two or three years ago and he started making these super cool vintage style replicas of fuzz face pedals. The round enclosures, they were aged and sounded amazing. He really knows what he's doing. Then he released a smaller enclosure fuzz pedal which was able to switch between germanium and silicon and now he has the faceless fuzz. And in this case it has CV7003 transistors which is my favorite germanium transistor because it is military grade. And the thing with military grade germanium transistors is that they are a lot less susceptible to temperature changes and um, they will remain sounding awesome ranging anywhere from like freezing point to uh, 40 degrees Celsius, I don't know. I've, I've never had a CV7003 transistor fuzz fart out on me. Um, and if you have like NKT germanium fuzzes, um, their tone may vary from day to day because they are extremely sensitive. So we're gonna dive right in. It's a fuzz, so it has level and fuzz. And uh, there's an internal bias trimmer to use for you if you need it. Um, I don't need to use it right now and we're not gonna listen to it because it's, you know, internal. Uh, it's set and forget depending on your climate and it is set to my climate as we speak. Now, um, this particular fuzz has very little gain for a fuzz. And you'll hear it in a bit, it sounds best when you crank both knobs. My clean tone is as follows. It's, well, like edge of breakup tone. Um, with vintage fuzzes, I always tend to crank the level knob because then they sound the best. There's not a lot of level in vintage fuzzes, so uh, this always works. We're gonna start with gain at noon. Anything below that, well, we're gonna start with gain at nine o'clock, just so you can hear um, the fuzzy, boosty character of the pedal. <laughs> Now most fuzzes, when you engage them, no matter where the gain is set, it, the, the neck pickup will be kind of muddy, but in this case... It's super usable and I... You know, stack it with a, with a with an overdrive. I mean, that's the fuzz pedal. It it's uh, sounding very different from any super vintage fuzz face type pedal um, that I've heard before. It's warm. It's mellow. And if you're looking for high gain fuzz, this is not it. This is smooth. Gain at noon. It still retains that like overdrivey character. Hey, roll back. And you have beautiful clean tone. Now, Gain at three o'clock. Mm -hmm. 
now it starts coming to life <laughs> as a fuzz pedal. Man, I, I, I love this so much. Like you have... better but like I said it sounds the most fantastic when you just crank both knobs <laughs> And stack this with an overdrive and the jam pedals harmonious monk as a kind of faux univibe. You get this. I think this fuzz pedal on its own will uh, not be liked by many people because most people when they plug in a fuzz and they don't know what a fuzz pedal does and how to work it, it it's they expect to be Jimi Hendrix um, but a proper fuzz pedal should be used into an amp that is way more cranked than this. And um, I actually really love that this is super low gain, so you can use it as a fuzzy kind of boost-ish overdrive thing, while still keeping all the frequencies in your pickup, so you can use the neck pickup on a lower gain setting uh, and make it sound like a super fantastic overdrive. Um, but if you crank the fuzz, it doesn't get noisy at all. Like this is the noise level right now on a single coil guitar with fuzz cranked. Um, this is meant to be run into a very loud amp or into an overdrive pedal, stack it with other fuzz pedals, experiment with it. And I can't deny that it's a one trick pony, but you know, so are all fuzz pedals. This is a pony that does its tricks very uniquely and very well. Let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts are and uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps grow the channel and uh, see you next time. Bye.